Cedar Bluff Cemetery caretakers ask the community for help to fix centuries-old roads washed away in recent storms. WIFR reporter Sidney Stoffregen talks with the cemetery's manager who says he can't keep up with all the rain and repairs. Cedar Bluff off Rural Street is the second oldest cemetery in Rockford and has weathered its fair share of storms, but the ones that blew through just days ago tore up gravel and blacktop roads. The manager, Jeff Welty, says will only get worse in the winter. We don't have the money to fix these roads. That's Jeff Welty, the heart and soul of Cedar Bluff Cemetery, who says July storms left the roads in pieces. As family members dodge potholes and trudge through mud to visit their loved ones, Welty races to keep up with the growing list of repairs. With a starting goal of $50,000, he hopes a GoFundMe will take some of the weight off his shoulders. It pushes me back. The grass starts getting longer, weeds get longer because I have to stop and either fix a road, cut up a tree, you know, haul the, haul the tree and branches out of here. We can't pay somebody to come in and charge us thousands of dollars. Janie Jenkin, the founder of 815 Stone Scrubbers, comes out each month to clean headstones. She says the potholes get harder to avoid despite her best efforts. We're such a big town with a small town feel. There have been generations after generations here, buried here. It's about preservation. A lot of these stones now are well past 100 years old. It's important to keep those going as well as the roads. Welty says nearly 80 burials a year keep the cemetery running, but that money can't cover the tens of thousands of dollars in repairs Cedar Bluff needs. We're the least costly cemetery in town. We try to keep it that way. Would I love to raise prices? Yes. But I also understand that, you know, some people struggle. It's enough to pay the bills. You know, that's about it. The GoFundMe link is on our website, WIFR.com. If you can't make a monetary donation, Welty says he could use more hands to pick up garbage. He says any and all help is greatly appreciated. Thank you, Sydney. And 815 Stone Scrubbers will be at Cedar Bluff Cemetery from 8 to 11 Saturday morning. They will continue cleaning the graves of local Civil War soldiers.